إذا مروا بهم يتغامزون إلا شرطي الشرطي الشرطي لا تقرر يعني هذا حقي استريح رأنا لا قرار أمريكي Saddam Hussein is not there, he has walked out. His half-brother is not there, he has been dragged out by guards. Three out of the five judges who were there at the beginning of the trial are no longer there. Two defense attorneys have been killed. One defense attorney has fled the country. This is an extraordinary trial. Uh, we have the New York Times in Baghdad. Yeah, I think it's so, yeah. Uh, if you call somebody to talk about one killing and whilst he's talking to you, somebody else is killed. عندما رأيت صدام حسين في قفص الاتهام وعندما رأيته في القفص هذا الرجل من كثر ما سمعنا عنه وشفنا عنه أنا كانت لدي رهبة في داخلي رهبة وخوف وأنا أكون واقعي لأنه لا أستطيع أن أقول غير ذلك بلغتهم قلت لهم بال بالهاتف قلت لهم انا اكون الشاهد الاول النقاش كعائله ما ناقشتها في بدايه الامر الا بعد ان حتى لا ياثرون نفسيا على نفسيتي ذكرت شيء كيف يقف there is virtually no protection for the nine iraqi lawyers it is essential that they be protected now Without that protection, a fair trial is impossible. I received a call from Saddam's uh, daughters. I told her, if we participate, means we will be a partner on sentencing your father to death. Boycott by defense counsel has been something that was threatened from long before the trial started um, as a strategy. I think we need to find ways to report mm -hmm. that element of the U.S. involvement because yeah. we're helping them put this bullshit screen up where they pretend they have nothing to do with it. U.S. Marshals yeah. were actually State telling the judge Please. when to, to cut the uh, video. Right, that this is a very, very much an American puppeteered Operation. Hello. <laughs> America have to fix first the telecommunication of Iraq before they start taking the oil. <laughs> Bush said uh, the trial is on track. What is railroad track? You know, <laughs> you're railroading the case, and he said. You see uh, due justice for this butcherer. Now, is that presuming innocence, butcherer? He knows the consequences could be death. But what is in his mind, it's not by, by being dead. His mind that Iraq is occupied and should be liberated. He's like being sentenced for death and he's just waiting for his uh, execution.